Guide to Protecting the Tunisian Revolution. General Strategies Band together into squads of civilians. Wear a white handband so military can distinguish you, be visible. Do not let children outside unless you are certain that it is safe and do not let them leave your sight at any point. Join forces with other neighborhoods. Each neighborhood should act as a squad, but must always be ready to assist others in the area. Always be on guard with as many men as possible. Ask trustworthy members of the army to help reinforce your groups by adding soldiers to each of them or keeping in contact with one of your members designated for the purpose. Collaborative mapping. Use Google Earth to track death squads, gangs, and other threats. Do not use this for sensitive information that should be denied to government forces, as anyone can view or edit the map. Collaborative mapping using CrowdMap, free and open source software made in Africa. People can submit reports here. Tunisian Tracker. Shortened link. Link. Login using a Google account and place location markers routes onto the map which are then viewable by anyone else who views the map. You must log in to an account in order to edit but you can view without logging in. Instructions on how to edit the map. User's Guide. YouTube. Additional security tips. Have a plan. A meeting place and some sort of escape route should be prepared in case of emergency. Try and remain calm and focused. Remember to eat and sleep when you need to. Stay away from gunfire and sounds of violence rather than seeking to investigate. Always investigate indirectly when possible. Ask around for information rather than trying to acquire it yourself. Help whom you can but do not endanger yourself and your family in doing so. Find and collect fire extinguishers and fire blankets. Make sure everyone knows where they are kept. Do not steal firefighting equipment if it is in a populated location. Establish barriers and maintain watch of all entrances to the area in which you are housed. Form compounds with individuals you trust and create a barrier of flat visible ground. Make a barrier of cars on surrounding streets. Always have a vehicle ready in case someone needs medical attention. Refrigerators, washing machines, and other heavy equipment are also useful components of such barriers. Do not trust barriers as protection against gunfire. Fill bags with sand for some additional protection, but do not trust your life to such things. If you must fight, it is best to do so inside buildings, where guns are less of an advantage, they can't just move far away and keep shooting. Do not try to fight men with guns. Remain calm and refrain from sudden MOVEMENTS in the presence of any armed adversaries who are not a definite threat. Your area is likely to be avoided if threatening groups suspect the possibility of organized and substantial resistance. If in doubt, retreat to another location. Ensure that those you trust all agree on a location in case of a chaotic situation. Don't be a hero. Dying in the frantic attempt to save two kills three. Try to stay level-headed and analyze situations before you intervene. Make noise. To alert other neighbors to threats and ensure that all are aware of what such noises indicate. Fireworks can be taken as gunfire for persons not used to the sound of a gun, like most Tunisians. Use a whistle or whistle yourself. A loud instrument can also be a good solution. Protection begins with protecting yourself. Stay in a place where you can see and be seen by your squad. Never stay alone. Groups within local communities must stay together for enhanced protection. Tell others what you are doing and share with them. Organize and maintain contact with other neighborhoods. Write down license plate numbers and other vehicle info in case of suspicious activity. Other information that can be useful includes such things as the number of occupants, general ages, genders, 
etc. Stay calm and never provoke a fight. Organize a shift system to keep watch around the compound. Wear a white handband so military can distinguish you, be visible. Make sure your cell phone's battery is charged and you have credit. Trade contact numbers with other groups like yours so that you may support each other with information and protection. Remember, information is the most fundamental sort of protection. Always have emergency phone numbers on hand. Everyone must know what to do in case of problems and where to go, nearest hospital, home of a relative, etc. Report atrocities to the international media, but only after safely informing neighbors for their protection. If you have web access, you may leave reports on any anonymous run message board. Have someone in your neighborhood who is internet savvy be in charge of further distribution, but only when safety has been regained. The source from which you obtained this document will have further documents for you soon, these will provide technical instructions on advancing the revolution once initial security is established. Other forms of aid will be sent in the coming weeks. In the meantime, build your neighborhood alliances and communications networks. Please share with as many other people as you can. Maintain a network for this process but do so in a way that does not endanger anyone in the case of infiltration by government forces. Don't write down names. Some relevant emergency numbers, 713-3300-3300-7150-7160-4188-7116-0000-71300-35500-71335-345 to call the military forces. Police Operations HQ 713350